It started more than three decades ago. At that time, some a few European wild boars were introduced to Brazil to serve hunting farms. No one expected that some of them would escape into the wild. They not only reproduced but also crossed with local domestic pigs, creating a new hybrid breed called Java Porco, what many people call super pigs. They grow fast, are intelligent, voracious, and like to move in herds. That combination created a biological disaster. From a few initial animals, their population has now exploded to more than 2.5 million, spread across 22 states. Wherever there are farms, there are Java Porco footprints. They knocked down barbed wire fences that were put up to protect the fields. Months of hard work by farmers can be wiped out overnight. Not only are crops damaged, but farmers also have to spend thousands of dollars to repair fences, restore irrigation systems, and reclaim fields that have been turned into barren land. When all modern methods fail, farmers are forced to think of the oldest defense method known to man, ditches. But don't imagine small country ditches. These are real trenches, designed and built with modern technology. The giant excavators began to work, cutting the earth with precision like a scalpel. The ditch was dug to a depth of 2 meters and a width of 3 meters, enough for any pig to pass. A case in point is the success of this tactic in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul, where 14 farmers joined forces to dig a 4.6 kilometer long ditch around three tiung of soybeans, corn, and pasture land. They named the project Soiberia, both a joke and a declaration that the land had become a cold land for wild boars. The results were immediate and surprising. Boar attacks dropped from 28 to just 3 per month, infrastructure repair costs fell by 92%, and crop yields increased by 18%. A harvest season later, the amount of produce was so large that trucks had to line up to be weighed. For farmers, it was undeniable proof that hoes and shovels can sometimes be more powerful than bullets.
In addition, there have been accidents where tractors or even harvesters have fallen into ditches due to lack of warning signs. In areas with steep terrain or hard rock, construction costs triple due to the need to use explosives to break up rocks. Another issue that many people worry about. When the ditches are so effective, the wild boars are blocked, where will they go? Will they starve to death on the other side, or simply turn to destroy other farmers' fields? Many people ask, why not use guns or spray poison? In fact, guns are both expensive and impractical when faced with millions of pigs. Poison is potentially dangerous, can kill livestock, wildlife, and harm the ecosystem. Some places deploy drones with thermal cameras, flying patrols at night to detect pigs from a distance. There are also farms that send autonomous robots to run along ditches at night, checking soil pressure and patching up weak spots as soon as they are detected. Thanks to these solutions, in just three seasons, eight farms have saved more than 3.2 million Brazilian reels, while agricultural production has increased steadily. Today, if you ask Brazilian farmers what they would choose to protect their crops, guns, poison, or electric fences, the answer will surely surprise many. They choose shovels, excavators, and a two-meter deep ditch. Because they understand that in the fight against the aggressive and intelligent super pig, sometimes the old method is the most effective solution. Shovels replace guns and bullets, ditches replace fences, and it is these earthen walls that are helping Brazilian farmers preserve their crops, preserve their livelihoods, preserve their hope. What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section to discuss. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting stories.